In this video we'll be looking at the Mars 2 400 watt LED grow light from topledgrowlight.com and I'll be comparing it with the 270 watt compact fluorescent grow light that I built myself in a previous video. You can see that video by clicking on this link here. The Mars 2 LED grow light features 85 watt LEDs across six different light spectrums. This means the plant is only getting the light that it needs and we're saving energy on wasted light. Those light spectrums are 430 to 440 and 450 to 475 nanometer in the blue range, 620 to 630 and 650 to 660 nanometer in the red and orange range, and then infrared in 730 nanometer, and some white 5500 Kelvin LEDs as well. The light comes with a power cable and a sturdy hanging bracket. It also comes with an instruction manual, but it's not really needed. On the back of the unit, we have a power socket, there's also four brass hanging brackets, and there's also an auxiliary power socket. All four sides of the unit are the same and just feature some air vents. Setting the thing up couldn't be simpler. All we really need to do is plug in the power socket and turn the power on. To install the hanging bracket, all I've really done is attach these four clips onto each of the four brass hanging points. The hanging bracket keeps the whole thing quite stable and also quite level. And then with a flick of a switch, the light comes on. So let's have a look at the power consumption. It's rated at 400 watts, but we can see quite quickly that the draw at the wall is around 185 watts. This means that 270 watt CFL grow light is an excellent comparison. The 270 watt compact fluorescent grow light is coming in at about 170 watts of power draw at the wall. So as you can see, they're quite even and they are excellent to compare to one another. With both lights facing the camera, it's difficult to see which one is brighter but if we spin them around and aim them at the wall, you can quickly see that although the LED grow light has a um, narrower beam angle, it overpowers a compact fluorescent grow light very, very quickly. By lying both grow lights on the floor up against the wall, we can quite easily see the, the beam angle of each. You can see the compact fluorescence beam angle is a lot wider, but um, the LED grow light is simply just putting out a lot more light. And finally, I'm going to install the grow light in the grow tent. And all I really have to do for that is clip the carabiner onto one of the support bars at the top of the grow tent. This grow tent has an area of about nine square feet or 80 centimeters by 80 centimeters. And the grow light definitely seems to have enough power for this small tent. I have to say, I was very impressed with the construction of this thing. Although it's a cheaper model, it is extremely sturdy and I can't fault it on that basis. So that is the Mars 2 400 watt LED grow light. So I've installed the uh, LED grow light in the loft garden, which has a small skylight window. And we actually live within four miles of a police helicopter training center and we get buzzed about twice a week. And with the grow light on in the evenings, there's a bit of an ominous glow. So it would be interesting to see whether or not we get a knock on the door. So with the grow light now installed, I can start my winter garden. So if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe. If you have any comments, please put them down in the comments below. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.